This is going to be my most controversial video to date. This is what the big photographers of YouTube don't tell you. Yes, we're talking about the Peter McKinnons of YouTube. And before you start saying, I'm just a hater, I love watching all of these guys' videos but there is something that none of them talk about. You're here because you love photography and filmmaking and you want to get better at it. When we watch Peter McKinnon, we love the cinematic drone shots, the sick product photography, the crazy B-roll. That's what we aspire to do. The problem is that the top YouTubers are getting paid ridiculous amounts of money to do what they do. Meanwhile, you're over here not making a cent from your B-roll shots. I've seen the videos they put out on making money from photography and while the advice is good, it's just not sustainable long term. So. Why should you listen to anything I have to say? My name is Chris Pieta and I run a product photography company. That's how I make my money. I don't make a profit here on YouTube. All my revenue gets reinvested right into this channel to make better quality content. So strap in and let's get into it. When I was trying to figure out how to make money from photography, I looked to these bigger YouTubers for advice. The problem is that they all said the same thing and those things weren't sustainable. Now, I'm not saying anyone's lying in their videos. The advice they give is sound, but there's a problem with it. I've seen this video from a few of these guys and it's always titled something like how to make a thousand bucks in photography this weekend. While that sounds enticing and the advice they give is good, that isn't a sustainable business model. The title of that video is how to make a thousand bucks from photography this weekend and the video delivers on that. Those types of videos will walk you through how you can book 10 to 20 of your friends or social media followers to headshots over the course of a weekend, which sounds great, right? Make a thousand bucks from photography, why not? The issue is that this only works for a weekend, a single weekend. You'll make a thousand bucks, but you won't have a business. In those videos, they don't teach you marketing or how to handle referrals or even sales. Simply put, they don't teach you how to build a photography business. Why not? Well, quite frankly, I think it would bore their audiences. What's cooler, cinematic bureau and epic drone shots, or some dude talking about how you have to email 20 people just to get one client? You gotta do the boring work if you wanna build an actual business. Now, I know it sounds like I'm ragging on these guys, and that's not what I'm trying to do here. They built up their following by posting awesome looking content, landscape photos and videos, travel films, all this stuff is super cool. They've built up their following doing something that they love. And you can too. The problem is that it's a very, very competitive game. Even if you're the best of the best, it's going to take you years and years to build up enough of a following to generate money from this. All these bigger YouTubers went through the stage of building up their audiences slowly while working another gig. And now that they're big, they don't need another gig to support them. But what about you, the small content creator that doesn't have a big following, but is still passionate about photography or filmmaking? What if I told you that you can make a lot of money doing something that you love while building out that audience on the back end? When you watch these big YouTubers, it's easy to think that the only way to make money from photography is doing paid sponsorships or social media collabs with Sony or Canon. You might even think that once you get good enough at photography, these brands will approach you. You see these guys making epic landscape videos and you want to do that too. The problem here is that there just isn't that much money in this space unless you're really, really good. There's only a few dozen really prominent photography YouTubers that are crushing it. Then there are thousands and thousands of others that aren't making a dime. So how can you start making money from your photography in a way the big YouTubers don't talk about? It's time to start a creative business. What do I mean by this? We're basically just going to use our skills to find clients. You have a valuable skill set that people will pay you money for. But first, let's talk about the path the big YouTubers take and how they made their money and how they're currently making their money. For the most part, these guys started out as freelance photographers and videographers. The freelance life is a tough space to be in. You're working project to project and you're always on the hunt for new clients. And as creatives, for a lot of us, learning business and sales and marketing sounds terrible. We got into this to do photography, right? Well, obviously, but in order to make a living from it, there are three paths you can go down. Path number one is you work for someone else. Here, you don't have to start a business. You don't have to learn entrepreneurship. You get to do what you love all day long. The drawback is you won't really make that much money, but you can still make a good living doing this. You'll also still have a boss, but you'll be able to do what you love. Path number two is you start a freelance or creative business. Here, you need to learn all about entrepreneurship. This is a path I'm on and I love it. I don't spend most of my day doing photography work. I spend it doing sales, marketing, administrative work, and managing my team. Personally, I love this. I love the business side of things, so I'm living the dream. Path number two is what most big YouTubers started down. This is a really tough path, and for a lot of those people, they want to escape this path. Maybe they didn't like doing sales and client outreach. Maybe they wanted more photography or filmmaking work. Whatever the reason may be, they decided to pursue YouTube as a main revenue stream. They saw it as a path out. This leads us to path number three. Path number three is earning a living from YouTube and social media. Now, this is really tough. This is also what a lot of the big YouTubers say to do. YouTubers earn money from AdSense, affiliate links, sponsorships, and 
and selling their own products. In order to start earning money, you'll need to build up an audience. And this takes a ridiculously long time. There's a lot of competition out there. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel because you want to earn a living from it, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. It's going to be at least two to three years of nonstop work to start earning a livable salary. If you want to start a YouTube channel, your reasons can't be to make money from it. I started my channel in January of 2021. Today, I've got 11,000 subscribers and I'm pulling in about 500 bucks a month. All that money gets reinvested into my channel because I'm paying an editor to edit these videos for me. So if YouTube isn't the way to make a living doing what you love, what is? Let's talk about path number two, starting a creative business. If you want to make a living from photography, you need to be able to have a steady stream of income. You get this through client work. Now, this isn't fun for a lot of photographers, but this is how the business works. You're going to need to hone in on your niche. Let's say product photography. From there, you build a website, and once that's up and running, you begin reaching out to brands. Reaching out to brands via cold email, via Instagram, any way you can. Once you get responses, you can pitch how you're gonna help that brand, and if you do it right, you'll have land out client. This this is a process you can repeat over and over again to land client after client. And this is how you actually make money from photography. Yeah, it could be great if Sony or Canon could sponsor all of us and fly us to Iceland for a week, but that just isn't the reality of photography work. Photography businesses function like any other business. If you can help someone solve a problem, they will pay you. Does someone need a product photo for Amazon? You can help them. Do single people in your area need tender headshots? They'll pay a lot of money to get a date. There are so many ways you can make money from photography and very few involve selling your land landscape prints. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, welcome. I teach creative business and have dozens of videos on this topic. We cover things from client acquisition to pricing structures to sales calls all on this channel. I do this all for free. I even have a free course on my website on how to get your first clients. That's linked below. I'm going to spend another minute talking about client acquisition here, but if you need a deep dive, you know what to do. First off, find a niche. My niche isn't just product photography. My niche is product photography for food and beverage businesses. Now, if you further dive into my portfolio, you'll see I have a unique style where I do a lot of cool action shots and lifestyle setups, which further helps differentiate me and establishes me as an expert in this niche. Now, if you think niching down means there's less business to reach out to, then you're right. But still, within my niche, there's thousands of businesses in the US for me to work with. How do I work with them? First, I use Amazon to look up some food product. Let's say matcha. I look up matcha on Amazon, make a list of all the companies, then I use LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Apollo.io to get their email addresses, and then I send cold emails. I make the email unique, I tell them what I do, I provide credibility, like brands I've worked with in the past, and finally, at the end of the email, I ask for a 10-minute discovery call. On that call, I ask them questions to learn about what their content struggles are and how I can help. If the call all goes well, I'll send them a proposal, we'll go back and forth, and occasionally I'll book a project. Now when I'm really trying to get new business, I send hundreds of these emails a month to hundreds of companies, and it works. It's a numbers game. It's a tough game to play, but it pays me well and I love the process. Now imagine if Peter McKinnon started lecturing you about business. You'd be yawning. Maybe you're yawning at this video. This stuff isn't fun to talk about, and those big YouTube channels need to stay fun. But if this is the type of content you like, check out my other stuff. This video barely scrapes the surface. I hope you learned something here today. Again, this video is not me hating on anyone. I just want to provide a roadmap for you to make a living from your craft. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.